Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. Want to create stunning visuals in seconds? Meet Ideogram AI. Whether it's logos, posters, or fun graphics, Ideogram turns your ideas into reality instantly. What makes it special? It blends text and images effortlessly, something most AI tools struggle with. Just type your idea, pick a style, like anime, realistic, design, or 3D render, and watch your creation come to life. Log in with Google or Apple, and while there are paid options, the free plan lets you get started right away. Ready to level up your creativity? Try Ideogram AI today. First, we'll visit the Ideogram AI website. As of the date of this video, to create an account and log into Ideogram, only Google and Apple accounts are accepted. I click on the Continue with Google option, select one of my Google accounts, and log in. Let's start by reviewing the website's interface before generating images. Now, let me explain how credits work for each account. At the time of releasing this video, when you create an account, you're given 10 free credits to generate images. By clicking the Upgrade Plan option, you can view all of Ideogram's available plans. With a free account, you can generate up to 40 images per day. After using up all your credits, they will be refreshed the following day, giving you 10 more free credits. After logging in, you'll see the Explore section, which features a gallery of images generated by Ideogram users, updated in real time. I'll click on one of these images randomly, which opens the Images Details page. There are four variations of each image, which you can browse by clicking on the thumbnails. On this page, you can also see the prompt that was used to generate the image, which can serve as inspiration. A bit further down, you'll find additional details such as resolution, creation date, the model used for generation, and seed information. By clicking the three-dot icon, a new menu opens, which includes a download option to save the image in JPEG format to your device. As an example, I'll download this image. Next to the Explore tab, there's the My Images tab, where you can view an archive of all the images you've generated with Ideogram AI, giving you easy access to your old images. The Explore section has four dedicated tabs, Realistic, Design, 3D, and Anime. For instance, I'll click on the 3D tab. Here, you'll see images generated in the 3D style. After this quick overview, let's start generating images in various styles using Ideogram AI. At the top of the website, there's a text box for entering prompts. A prompt is essentially your ideas and thoughts, which you type in text form. The better your idea is typed and the more details you include, the better the AI will understand your concept, and the generated image will more closely match what you envision. I have a prompt already typed, so I right-click and paste it into the text box. Let's also check the settings panel on the right. The prompt magic option is set to on by default, which enhances your initial prompt to improve image variety and richness. It can also translate prompts to English. If you prefer not to use this option, you can turn it off. In the Aspect Ratio section, there's a drop-down list that allows you to choose from various dimensions such as square, horizontal rectangle, vertical rectangle, for different platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. The Visibility option lets you choose whether the images are public or private, although the private option is only available for paid accounts. In the model section, you can select different versions of Ideogram, with version 2 being the latest as of this tutorial's release. The color palette section has an appealing drop-down list where you can choose your preferred colors. Colors listed first will have a stronger influence on the image. In the settings panel, there are other options such as rendering, seed number, and negative prompt, but all of these are disabled in the free account and only available in paid plans. In the lower left corner of the prompt box, by selecting options like Realistic, Design, 3D, and Anime, you can specify the style for your image, and your prompt will be transformed into an image based on the style you chose. For this example, I'll select the Realistic option and click on the Generate button. My prompt is added to the queue. After a short wait, thumbnails of the generated images appear in a set of four in the lower right corner. To view the images in a larger size, I click on one of them. Four variations have been generated, 
and all of them are impressive. My prompt was about generating an image of Elon Musk next to the SpaceX rocket launch pad, and as you can see, Ideogram AI perfectly understood my idea, and the images are exceptionally well aligned with my concept. I'll download one of these images. I'll clear my previous prompt. Now, let's challenge Ideogram AI's ability to generate 3D images with another example. I have a prompt for the 3D style already typed. So I right-click and paste it into the text box. In the lower left corner of the prompt box, I select the general option. Without changing any other settings, I click generate. My prompt is queued for the second time. After a very short wait, Thumbnails of the generated images in the 3D style appear in the lower right corner. To view the larger versions, I click on one of them. All of the images seem quite impressive. My prompt was to generate an image of an attractive boy with an amazing combination of colors. And Ideogram AI has interpreted this prompt in a stunning and unique way. I'm really excited by these images. I'll download one of them. I'll clear my previous prompt. For the third example, let's challenge Ideogram AI's capability in generating car images. I have a prompt for a Lamborghini already typed. So I right-click and paste it into the text box. In the lower left corner of the prompt box, I select the general option. Without changing any settings, I click generate. My prompt is queued for the third time. After a brief wait, the thumbnails of the Lamborghini images appear in the lower right corner. To view the Lamborghini images in a larger size, I click on one of them. The images are exceptional. My prompt was to generate a stunning and eye-catching Lamborghini, and Ideogram AI has impressively turned this idea into a Lamborghini that even shows hints of a Bugatti. I'll download one of these images. I'll clear my previous prompt. For the fourth example, we'll challenge Ideogram AI's text generation capabilities. I have a text-based prompt already typed, so I right-click and paste it into the text box. In the lower left corner of the prompt box, I select the Auto option. Without changing any settings, I click Generate. My prompt is queued for the fourth time. After a short wait, the thumbnails of my text-based image appear in the lower right corner. To view the new images in a larger size, I click on one of them. The text has been correctly generated but in lowercase. My prompt was to generate my name, Iman, with water droplets, and Ideogram AI has done a relatively good job of turning this idea into an image. I'm sure that with some further adjustments, future generations will yield even better results. Did you learn something from this tutorial? If yes, doesn't this tutorial deserve a like? Smash that like button and share this video with others. This tutorial is just a small drop in the endless ocean of tutorials being uploaded on this channel. If you're into AI, you've come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next tutorials. Remember, AI is the future, so embrace it today. See you in the next tutorial.